Hey family, you already know who it is. It's your boy Thesis. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a R and B selection today. That's what they say, right? So we're going to be checking out Ripcord and Prisms, and we're going to be using Uncordia from Native Instruments to get us started. Stay tuned. So as you see, I already got Uncordia up and I have Prisms 3 up. Um, if you guys have not checked out the videos on how to install Ripcord, make sure that you look at these videos right here. Let's go over some of the logistics already of how we set up. So if you guys aren't familiar with the setup, you just go through, go to contact and you open up contact, you open up Uncordia, you install a version of Ripcord. Once you install a version of Ripcord, you go back to your contact, go and open up your Rip, your actual uh, connections for MIDI. Once you open up your connections for MIDI, you just pick Ripcord for the MIDI output and you make sure that you click on contact so that you can get the sound out. Uh, these are the chords that we will be playing with today. So we was going for that Rick Ross feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that in and we just gonna go from there and see where it go. like that so let's go with that let's go ahead let's loop this now let's go ahead and start playing around with some of the actual sounds i want to add a nice like filtered sound to it so we're going to go to somatics origin of course that's going to give us this nice real to real feel saturation this is free if you guys haven't copped this yet i don't know where you've been you might have been under a rock but i will leave this in the description as well um, let's go ahead and put a vintage sound towards this piano i'm not going to well let's see let's take some of the real to real off see how i go and play around with some of the settings from there. All right, so I think we good so far with that. So now, so let's open up an instance of machine and from there, we'll just go through some of the kits. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna sound because this is all freehand. I'm not knowing how and what this is gonna happen, so. Let's see how that sounds. For those who don't know, here is a tip. You have Machine up as a VST. A lot of people I know you use Machine as a standalone. You guys are really, really missing out a full feature of this VST if you're using it as a standalone and not inside of a DAW. You grab this waveform right here, hold it, you bring it over to your DAW and it will load directly up into your DAW just like that. So now I'm going to turn off this right here because if you don't, then it's gonna play both of them at the same time. So we can go ahead, minimize that. Now we have a full drum pattern and let's Let's go ahead and play it from the top. All right, so I'm liking where we're going right now. I think I want to be totally random with the percussion. So let's just, you know, do that and see how it go. So now let us go in and let's add some claps to it. All right, so let's go ahead and back the uh, snare with a clap. I want to add 
add some strings to it. So let's use another free VST, which is super sweet. The free VST that I'm gonna use now for strings is BBC Symphony. If you guys have not got this yet, make sure that you check out the video where I did a review on this one too. You guys are really, really missing out on this one because this has real, real symphony sounds to it. I wanna add some strings to this, uh, maybe like a violin or something. All right, so let's play around with it. So now once we do the strings, now we got to put a bass line in. So with this one, we're going to go and we're going to use the actual uh, bass guitar. And you guys can get this one from offline. I will leave the link in the description for this one as well. Um, this one is called Ample Bass. And Ample Bass Lite is a free guitar, um, bass guitar that you guys can use. Has a very genuine, great sound to it. And uh, I want to add this to this sound. So... <music> play around with this with some more but if you guys like this video please make sure that you go like and subscribe to the page make sure that you hit a like and comment on this and hit that notification bell so that every time we got new videos you guys will be the first to get the notification once again we having fun and we just loving what we do stay tuned to some more y'all all right y'all already know who it is it's your boy thesis peace <laughs>